Good morning. It's uh, day 11 on the uh, PCT. Getting a late start today. It's like 8 o'clock. Uh, yesterday after I picked up my, my food and boxes from the Paradise Valley Cafe, I started to climb up San Jacinto. I got about 8 miles in after the cafe. So it was like 20 miles yesterday. And, uh, ooh, the climb really wore me out. I got vertigo once on the climb on the way up. So I had to take it easy. Um, and so I'm doing a plan to lower mileage day today. Somewhere around like 16. Uh, but the next two nights, it's supposed to be pretty cold. Down into like the low 30s with some high winds <laughs> uh, but this is an absolutely beautiful area so uh, yeah so onward we go been texting back and forth with number two pencil um that i met on my appalachian trail through hike in 2022 uh he's through hiking the pct this year had to take some time off to uh getting sick but he uh he was just checking in to see how things are going for me and uh sounds like he might be headed up in the san jacinto area over the next uh day or two so it'd be really cool to run into him he's a really nice guy uh, enjoyed meeting him on the AT so yeah so wish you best of luck uh, number two headed up to San Jacinto I'm currently at like 7,100 feet of elevation. This may be the highest elevation I've ever hiked at. <laughs> and uh, last night I camped at 6,300 feet, which that's definitely the highest I've ever camped at. Um, I, I guess the wisdom is that you're not supposed to camp more than 2,000 feet higher than you did like the previous night for, uh, because of, for like elevation sickness. So tonight, I think the furthest campsite I picked was at like 8,300 or 8,500. So I should be in the ballpark somewhere. So trying to be a little mindful of the elevations I'm camping at. And I've been kind of tracking it for each night just to give myself a point of reference. But this uh, pine forest I'm getting to go through, this is pretty cool. Uh, Looking forward to this section. Onward we go. You're uh, watching these videos because you plan on hiking a PCT one day. Know that a lot of these water sources are pretty far off trail. Some of them are up to like a mile off trail. I just tried to get water a little bit back and it was like a quarter of a mile off trail but it was like a, a bushwhack <laughs> um actually i think it was more than a quarter mile off trail but uh i got about three quarters of the way down i decided it wasn't worth uh, risking injury uh lots of blow down just basically walking through briar bushes my legs are burning right now not because of the climbs but because they got scraped up so bad on the way down. So yeah, not all the, and that was just a spot where I was gonna have to scoop water anyway. So not, so not all nice flowing streams and not all easy to get to. Hey. 
this trail is really overgrown. Supposedly this is from, oh my God, a really wet spring. If the whole entire trail is like this, it could be a really bad year for uh, forest fire season. Holy hell. Man, I'm getting cut up all over. Hey, this is a big mountain in front of me. The uh, tip, where's it at? Over here on the snow peak. That's the top of San Jacinto. And I guess the other mountains are part of the San Jacinto range just to get up to the top. I ain't gonna lie, it's a bit intimidating. Uh, have never uh, climbed that high and <laughs> already dealing with elevation sickness. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see how this one goes. I won't probably won't get up there until tomorrow though. And up on top, it's supposed to be 30 with the wind chill factor. Uh, up until I think 11 a.m. It's supposed to be like 10 degrees. So it's going to be a cold one. Getting pretty desperate for water so far. I came down from up top there. It was a little over a mile to get here. I got another mile of climb to get back to the trail. Uh, I thought I'd be able to scoop water out of the stream, but it's so low you can't even scoop. So I'm trying to make this little pole here where I can use my cook pot to uh, scoop up some water. And wait, I just build up this this little pool so waiting for the maybe the sediment to clear a little bit and then i'll hopefully be able to get some uh some muddy water <laughs> But the uh, climb up this mountain is kicking my butt. Uh, it, just to climb up the PCT part was, um, I'm about 20% done with a 1150 foot climb over 1.8 miles. It doesn't even count the probably extra 500 feet of climbing I had to do just to get up from where the water was at. So I'm, man. I got a lot of climbing left. This is a, uh, it's taking it out of me. It's, it's a toughie. I made it to camp a little bit ago. Uh, very, very low mileage day. Uh, PCT miles was like 11. If I include like the uh, getting water today, I think it was more like 15 or 16. Um, uh, today was a tough one and it's really cold right now. It's like winds are blowing up to like 30 miles an hour. It's supposed to get down to, I think with the I think with the wind chill down to about the 15 to 20, 20 degrees tonight. Uh, so it's probably going to be a cold one and probably a cold day tomorrow. Uh, leaving this uh, campsite here. Uh, but man, today honestly kind of freaked me out. Like some of the just boom, sheer drop offs, like right next to the trail. Like my fear of heights just like kicks in. And I did have like two like i'll call them baby snow crossings but i'm used to hiking in snow but this was different this was like you fall you're just bam you're you're sliding down a good bit so today was definitely a different experience for me uh we'll see how uh, tomorrow goes and i may try and get into town tomorrow um i'm going into town tomorrow or the next day to pick up my 
next like six days of boom so we'll see how it goes so thanks everyone for watching i hope you have a good night good morning day 12 on the pct winds have been blowing like this 30 plus miles an hour like this is the second day in a row i think i got about 12 miles to get to town so i'm going to get there probably as quick as i can onward we go Holy steepness. Oh. Oh. You can actually see some mountains. Oh, the clouds are rolling away. It was a pretty brutal night. Really tough morning getting going, but man, what's in front of me? It's beautiful. This, uh, Mount so far, San Jacinto area. It's been both terrifying and amazing. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful up here, but off the side of the, like right off the side of the trail is just some like, I don't know, just really steep sides. Where, man, if you trip yourself up, you're going, you're going down the whole mountain. There was a few sections yesterday that I wasn't feeling too comfortable around. Got a little fear of heights. Um, and apparently I passed by the Apache Peak area yesterday. I had like two small, like kind of snowy sections I crossed over. Um, and I guess that's where Trevor, I think his trail name was Microsoft, died in 2018. He basically he didn't have ice spikes or an ice axe and he slipped down the mountain and uh, uh, basically fell to his death. So it's definitely dangerous up here, but I am enjoying it. Onward we go. So many blowdowns in this San Jacinto area. I saw a comment in Far Out. Someone had counted like I think it was 112 within like a I think it was like a 10 mile stretch or something. Some of these are just treacherous to get around. Like some of these are really having to be careful. You don't get your pack caught on it. And, you know, fall down the mountain or yeah, just gotta be really careful. This is quite the maze to get through. Oh, oh yeah. Thank God I got a small pack. enough snow travel for today <laughs> well, that was like four or five miles is, uh basically through snow fields that just like kind of whooped me um so i think pct miles today was only about 10 but i've got like i'm going down this it's called the devil slide trail which man it hasn't been the easiest this thing's uh been pretty steep and just as treacherous um, about, about four and a half miles to get into town. And, uh, I think there's a tent site in town I might stay at, or, I don't know, maybe I'll find some place to stay tonight. And I might, uh, take tomorrow off, because I have to go to the post office to 
pick up the food box and uh, they won't be open by the time we get there tonight. So I'll have to wait till tomorrow morning sometime. Plus I need to do laundry and take a shower and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, guess I'll show you around town a little bit when I get there today or tomorrow. So onward we go. Uh, and if you guys want a picture, I can snap it on your phone. Just walking through kind of Idlewild, getting some chores done. Stayed at the bunkhouse last night. Uh, split the room cost with a guy named Connor that I met in town yesterday. A uh, pretty cool guy. Had breakfast at, I forget what restaurant it was this morning. I just stopped at Nomads to pick up a extra base layer. It's pretty cold up on top and I'm headed back to trail tomorrow morning. So we'll see how things go. Made it to where I'm staying. Um, we're in a log cabin uh, outside the town of Idlewild that I guess Connor found on Expedia. So I think there's about five of us here to uh, stay the night here. And we'll get back on trail in the morning at Saddle Junction up the Devil Slide Trail to finish out the San Jacinto Mountain Range. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you all have a good night.